Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to Ayur from Veda, a smart way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasiv and you are watching series on Padartha Vijnana. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samkhita. In the last video, we have discussed about the topic of Guna from Padartha Vijnana paper 1. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access it. Moving with the next topic that is Karma Vijnaniyam. The word Karma is derived from Kridhatu. It means Kriyate iti Karma. That is by which activity happens that is considered to be Karma. Prayaknadi Karma Cheshtidam Uchyate. So the activity done is uh, having different terms such as Prayakna, Karma, Cheshta, etc. Chalanatmagam karma, that entity which has a chalanatmaka or action that is considered to be karma. Samyokecha vibhagecha karanam dravya mashratam kartavyasya kriya karma karma nanyata pekshati. So that entity which resides in a dravya and which is responsible for the samyoka and vibhaga of the dravya, that entity is considered to be karma. And there is no other karma or there is no act, uh, another um, karma which is required for this samyoka and vibhaga. So the samyoga and vibhaga of a particular dravya is being done by the entity which is karma which is residing in a particular dravya. Dravya Shridham Cha Karma Yad Uchyade Kriyate So Dravya Shridha Kriya is considered to be Karma That is the action which is being carried out by a Dravya That is called to be a Karma Pravartistu Khalu Cheshta Karyartha Sa Eva Kriya Karma Yeknaha Karya Samarambhascha So any activity done for a work to be happened That is considered to be Pravarti And this is having various synonyms such as Kriya Karma, Yakna and Karya Samarambha. Next is the Lakshana of Karma. Ega Dravyam Agunam Samyoga Vibhakeshu Anapeksha Karanam Iti Karma Lakshanam. This is as per the Vaisheshika Sutra. As per Tarka Sankraha, Dravya Ashraya Gun Agunavan Samyoga Vibhakeshu Anapeksha Karanam Iti Karma Lakshanam. So it is Ega Dravya Ashraya. That is, it resides in one particular Dravya in Samavaya Sampada. That is, Karma is an entity which resides in a Dravya. That is one dravya in samavaya sambandha with that particular dravya. It is a guna, it does not possess any guna. And samyoga vibhageshu anapeksha karanam. And this karma which is present in that particular gun, uh, dravya is responsible for the samyoga and vibhaga of that dravya. And there is no another entity which is responsible for this samyoga or vibhaga. So that karma which is the entity which is present in the dravya in samavaya sambandha is itself the karana for the samyoga and vibhaga of that particular dravya so these are the lakshanas of karma it is ega dravya shraya that is it is residing only in one dravya at a particular moment that is in samavaya sambandha it is aguna and it is the reason for the samyoga and vibhaga and there is no another reason or there is no another karma which is responsible for the samyoga and vibhaga of that particular dravya so that karma which is present in that dravya is itself the karana for samyoga and vibhaga Next is the Karma Bheda. Different types of karmas are being explained in Samhitas as well as the Darshana Shastra. Utkshepanam tato apakshepanam akunchanam tatha prasaranam cha gamanam karmani etani pancha cha. So the five types of karmas are Utkshepana, apakshepana, akunchana, prasarana and gamana. So first is Utkshepana. Urtha Desha Samyoga Hedur Utkshepanam. That is, conjugation of any entity in upward direction is called to be Utkshepana. That is, Vyoga from Atha Pratesha and Samyoga with the Urtha Desha is uh, Utkshepana. That is, something which we are moving upwards or something which we are throwing upwards that is considered to be Utkshepana. That is, it is uh, detaching with the Adha Desha, Adha Pratesha, that is, from the lower area it is getting detached and it is getting attached with the upper uh, area that is considered to be utkshepana and for example the uh, throwing ball uh, upwards against the gravity if you are uh, throwing a ball uh, from the ground it is moving upwards so that is 
yoga from the Adha Pradesha and it is having the Samyoga with the Urtha Desha that is considered to be Utkshepana. Next is Apakshepana. Opposite of Utkshepana is Apakshepana that is it is Adho Desha Samyoga Hetur Apakshepana. It is having the Samyoga with the Adho Desha. Something which is moving downwards is considered to be Apakshepana. That is conjugation of entity towards downward direction is Apakshepana. Samyoga into Adha Pratesha and Vyoga from the Urtha Pratesha is considered to be Apakshepana. And for example, falling of a fruit from the tree or falling something from the height that is considered to be Apakshepana. Next is Akunjana. Sharirasya Sanni Krishna Samyoga Hetu Rakunjana. So, conjugation to a nearer part or something uh, which is being moving towards something or moving nearer is considered to be Akunjana. For example, the flexion or folding is considered to be Akunjana. Here, the Samyoga to uh, nearer body part is considered uh, to be the uh, Akunjana. Next is Prasarana. Prasarana is opposite of Akunjana that is extension is considered to be Prasarana. Viprakrishta Samyoga Hetuhu Prasarana that is conjugation with the distant part is considered to be Prasarana that is proximal part or the distant part is getting conjugation or Samyoga and Viprakrishta Desha is having the Samyoga and Sanni Krishta Desha is having the Vyoga that is considered to be Prasarana it is the uh, extension is considered to be Prasarana. Next is Gamana. So all the four activities or the four types of karmas we have explained. Other than these four types of karma, whatever karmas we are doing or whatever movements are happening, that is considered to be Gamana. That is not upwards, not downwards, not proximal or not la uh, medial. Uh, the other movements is considered to be Gamana. Uttara Desha Samyoga Hedur Gamanam. That is conjugation with all the areas or movement in the uh, forward or backward direction is considered to be Gamana. For example, walking or the movement of the uh, vehicles, such all uh, actions or activities we can consider as the Gamana. So, these are the five types of actions or the karma which are explained. The same five types has been explained in Delhana's commentary of Sushruta Samhita also. Prasarana Akunchana, Vinamana, Unnamana, Tirya Gamana Nidi, Panja Cheshta. So here the terms are little different. Prasarana means the spreading or extension. Akunchana means flexion. Vinamana means bending or downward movement and Unnamana means elevating upwards and Tirya Gamana means oblique movements. So here Prasarana and Akunchana it has been uh, same term has been used and the other uh, Utkshepana, Apakshepana and Gamana has been replaced with the words such as Vinamana, Unnamana and Tirya Gamana. Another classification of karma which we can see in the uh, darshanas or in the Bhagavad Gita's etc. are Adhyatmika and Laukika karma. Adhyatmika karma which denotes the deeds uh, having the metaphysical or invisible effect that is what we are telling about the karma, karma bhala such all actions or such all things we can consider as Adhyatmika karma that is the actions will be done and the effect of this actions we will not be able to perceive uh, through which is visible and laukika means what all actions what we are doing or the effect we have a physical effect that is considered to be laukika karma. So these are the two act, uh, karma bhedas that is adhyatmika and laukika and laukika karma is again classified into two that is iha laukika and para laukika. Iha laukika means the actions or the karmas what we are performing in this life and para laukika means which is the actions which we uh, happens to uh, perform after the death. So, Adhyatmika Karma are the karmas or the actions which uh, provides an auspicious outcomes that is the uh, good or bad uh, not only auspicious the good or bad which especially we uh, of, uh, think of getting the auspicious outcomes. It is the uh, thing which is beneficial in preservation of uh, health as well as the management of diseases. Based on these karmas, we can uh, have the type of chigilsa that is Daiva Vyapashraya chigilsa as well as the uh, Satwavajaya chigilsa also can be considered. 
and in uh, Bhagavad Gita it has been mentioned that the proper or inop- inappropriate uh, Sharirika, Manasika and Vajika Karmas depends on mainly uh, certain factors such as Sharira, Karta, Sadhana, Cheshta and Adhyatmika Karma. So this Adhyatmika Karma is again uh, classified into three based on the uh, Sattva, Rajas and Tamas. So that is uh, how we can classify the Karmas. Next is the Laukika Karma. These are the physical activities what we are performing day to day. That is uh, same as that mentioned the five types of activities that is Utkshepana, Apakshepana, Akunchana, uh, Prasarana and Gamana. And the Iha Laukika Karmas are the actions which are being carried out uh, throughout his life and it is of three types that is Sat Pratyaya, Asat Pratyaya and Apratyaya. So Sat Pratyaya means the actions which are being done voluntarily that is the voluntary movements what we are performing is considered to be Sat Pratyaya. So example whatever actions we are doing or we are moving the hands or we are moving the legs. So such all activities what we are voluntarily doing that is considered to be Sat Pratyaya. Asat Pratyaya means it is the automatic responses which are happening or by it. Uh, itself it is happening that is considered to be asat pratyaya for example if we are uh, throwing a ball to down a rubber ball we are uh, throwing to the ground it will be bouncing back so such type of actions or the responses is considered to be asat pratyaya and at pratyaya means it is the uh, actions which we uh, see in the non-living objects so it is again of three types that is first is nodana the movement of water on inserting legs in it like if we are uh, putting our legs in it it will be uh, the legs will be covered by the water so that movements of that water is considered to be nodana then gurutva it is the falling of substance from the upward uh, or downward direction when the base is removed like for example if a fr- uh, fruit is falling down so such all actions which are being uh, happening is considered to be because of the gurutva and vega or samskara that is if for example if an arrow is released from a bow it will be moving so such actions or the activities of the non-living objects is considered to be a pratyaya next moving with the application of karma so it has been mentioned that karma vak mana sharira pravarti all the uh, actions what we are doing based on the uh, vak mana and sharira is considered to be karma or pravarti and this sharirika manasika and vachika pravarti is known to be karma and it has been mentioned in all the samhitas that hina yoka and mithya yoka or ati yoka of karma is responsible for the roka and uh, samyak yoga of all these karmas is considered to be the karana for arogya so we have to preserve our arogya based on the uh, samyak yoga of the karma whatever karmas we are doing based on the sharirika manasika or vajika karmas we have to perform it in the samyak yoga in order to preserve the health if it is hina yoga or ati yoga or even if it is mithya yoga then it is the main reason for the uh, diseases and it is considered that to be prajna paratha also next it has been mentioned that karma bhistu anumiyante nana dravya shreya gunaha so in the uh, definition of karma as well as in the lection of karma it has been mentioned that karma is that entity which is residing in a dravya which is having the samavaya sambandha so how we can identify a karma or how we can identify a guna these all based on the actions what is being carried out by a particular dravya Whenever we are considering a dravya or whenever we are uh, taking a dravya, we can see its uh, outer uh, properties like uh, the botanical features we can see. But we cannot understand what are the gunas of it or what are the properties of that particular dravya. In order to understand that particular guna of that particular dravya, we need to know what action it is being carried out. So once we are consuming a dravya and what actions we are getting, based on that we have to identify the guna of a dravya. So it has been mentioned that guna of a dravya can be identified or understood by the karma what it is being doing. 
Next is for Prakriti Pariksha. It has been mentioned that uh, various karmas has been mentioned. Like the uh, person who is of Vata Prakriti will be having certain actions like uh, Chapala Gati or Druda Gati or Chapala Cheshta Ahara. Such different features has been mentioned. So these all actions or these all features can be identified based on the karma what that person is being doing. So next is different pancha karmas are being mentioned that is Vamana Virechana, Niruha Basti, Anvasana Basti and Nasya. These are called as the pancha karma and uh, the pancha shot which is mentioned in uh, Ashtanga Hridaya and Sushrada Samhita. That is Vamana, Virechana, Basti, Nasya and Rakta Mokshana. So these are the five sets of uh, treatment uh, modalities which is very much essential for the proper management. And there are again uh, the chigilsas are being classified into three sets that is Trividha Karma, that is Purva Karma, Pradhana Karma and Paschat Karma. So whatever the Shodhana Karmas we are doing or whatever the Shastra Karmas we are doing, before that we have to do a Purva Karma. That is before the Shodhana Karma we have to go for the Snehana and Svetana which is considered to be the Purva Karma. To make the body uh, receptible for or acceptable for that particular Shodhana Karma, we have to make it proper or we have to make it acceptable for that particular shodhana so that procedures we consider it as the purva karma and whatever shodhana karma or shastra karma what we are performing that is considered to be the prathana karma and after doing this karma we have to follow certain rules and regimens that is considered to be the paschat karma next again the chigilsa can be of three types that is shamana shodhana and shastra pranidhana so whenever the dosha dosha samurchana is not that much severe then we can manage that particular disease using the shamana aushadi when it has been crossed beyond the limit then we have to go for the shodhana karma especially in bahudosha avasthas and all we have to go for the shodhana karma using any of these pancha karmas or the pancha shodhanas and Again, there are certain disease conditions in which this shamana or shodhana is not the factor by which we can manage that particular disease in which we have to uh, manage that with the surgical procedures that is called as shastra pranidhana. So these are the three ways by which we can manage a particular disease. Then again the management has been of a two fault that is Dvithopakrama, it is Lankhana and Brahmana or Apatarpana and Santarpana. So these are the main two uh, treatment modalities by which we can manage any type of diseases. Again this two types of uh, management we can elaborate into six fault that is considered to be Shadubakrama. They are Lankhana, Brahmana, Snehana, Svetana, Rukshana and Stambana. And Dravya Karmas, different types of Dravyas are there and these all Dravyas are having different Karmas. So few examples of this Dravya Karmas are like Deepana, Pajana, Grahi, Stambana, Sramsana, different types of uh, Dravya Karmas are there. And these Dravya Karmas or uh, Dravyas has been classified into different Ganas based on their uh, Karmas or even uh, different Mahakashaya Vargas has been uh, classified based on these all uh, Karmas which these Dravyas are performing. And it has been mentioned in the concept of Purusha that is a concept called as Karma Purusha that is the Shadhvatotmaka Purusha which uh, the person is doing the actions. Next in coming to the modern uh, aspects we have the physiology where the normal functions of each organ is being or each system is being explained and as well as the pathology uh, has been mentioned that is uh, the different uh, uh, mani uh, how the diseases are occurring such or pathways has been explained and also the pharmacology the actions of the drug is being mentioned the simple uh, single drugs as well as the compound drugs or the medicines these all actions are being explained in the concept of pharmacology so these are the different types of karma or actions which we come across in our day-to-day -day life as a uh, normal uh, conditions that is in the swasthya avastha or in the atura avastha as well as in terms of the chigilsa that is the management of the diseases Today we have completed the topic of karma from paper 1 of Padartha Vijnana and will be moving with the further topics in the next videos. Please subscribe to my channel and follow the Instagram and Telegram accounts for more updates. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye.